What is this magic kill drink that supposedly helps to lose weight, prevents diabetes and protects from heart diseases? I'm talking about apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is extremely hyped these days, but what does actually the science say about it? Answers to this coming up in this video. Does apple cider vinegar help you to lose weight? According to a study from 2009, it seems to be the case. In a double-blind trial, obese Japanese subjects were divided into three groups. I know, obese Japanese is nothing you hear very often, but they do exist. The participants either consumed water or water supplemented with apple cider vinegar at different concentrations once a day. After 12 weeks on this diet, the groups that consumed the apple cider vinegar lost on average much more body fat. The scientists checked whether the people that consumed the apple cider vinegar simply ate less, but there was no significant difference in calories. Therefore, the scientists speculated that apple cider vinegar somehow inhibits lipogenesis, which is the scientific word for new fat formation. And indeed, other scientists found that acetate, which is the main component in apple cider vinegar, can inhibit lipogenesis. Triglycerides are besides other fats, the main products of lipogenesis in the liver. And the study actually found that consuming apple cider vinegar for 12 weeks decreases the triglyceride levels in the blood by 30%, which suggests that apple cider vinegar somehow really decreases lipogenesis, and this despite equal calories. Even though the study didn't find a difference in calorie intake, another study did. When apple cider vinegar was consumed directly before a meal, it seems that the people had higher satiety levels and stopped eating sooner than people who only consumed water. So it seems that there are some effects on appetite and satiety. There are also claims that apple cider vinegar helps with type 2 diabetes. And indeed, a small study could show that there are positive effects on diabetes when consuming apple cider vinegar. Right before a carbohydrate rich meal, volunteers were given either apple cider vinegar or a placebo drink and their blood glucose levels and insulin levels were measured afterwards. For both non-diabetic and diabetic participants, the groom who consumed apple cider vinegar before a meal showed lower glucose and insulin levels in the blood compared to the groups that consumed a placebo drink. Heart diseases are one of the leading killers in the world. And as I already mentioned in one of my last videos, high triglyceride levels are a huge risk factor for heart diseases. Surprisingly, even here, apple cider vinegar seems to have beneficial effects. Some animal studies suggest that adding a little bit of apple cider vinegar into the diet reduces the level of triglycerides. As a scientist, I always want to understand why things work the way they do. For apple cider vinegar, it's rather easy. It all comes back to the microbiome. When we provide our gut inhabitants the right food, they produce molecules called short-chain fatty acids. And this is exactly what apple cider vinegar is, a short-chain fatty acid, produced by the fermentation via bacteria and yeast. Usually short-chain fatty acids are produced in our gut through the fermentation of fiber. It has been shown in research that short-chain fatty acids help to lose weight, reduce inflammation in the body, can prevent diabetes and inhibit cancer growth. But this will be a separate video by itself. There are basically two great ways to incorporate some apple cider vinegar into your diet. You can use it for instance as salad dressing. My girlfriend is making the best salad dressing with just apple cider vinegar, some olive oil, some mustard and a little bit of spices. The other way is to dilute it in water or tea and just drink it. You can start with like one teaspoon and work yourself up to one tablespoon and do it one or two times a day. Consider subscribing if you enjoy these kinds of scientific videos. And give me a like if you enjoyed this one. And as always, thank you for watching. Sit down.